What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jam Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, we got some trailers that came out recently, and uh, one of them we've been very excited for. The other uh, film, we know the, the, I guess, destiny of this. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> And Secret Evasion and this other film, uh, sh um, show, the trailer for that we got uh, for Secret Evasion was something, um, the word seriousness has been yeah. creeping up on uh, uh, after this trailer for Secret Evasion. But first, let's talk, Brian, about this film that when we heard it was announced and we heard the progress that, that, that was being made and the people that involved with this, the star, all that. We were very excited for this film. The trailer came out, Brian. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. What did you think about the trailer? The Blue Beetle, a film that James Gunn liked so much for what he saw, decided to include it in his new DCU after basically rejecting a lot of what else was, was in the can. I think the trailer did what I hoped it would do. I'm... I'm still mulling the visuals a little bit. Like I'm still processing that a little bit. But Joel Omar Duane and I've been sold on since season one of Cobra Kai. And he has grown up in that show. And you, I think you see the maturity here, but he's still got that, I don't know what it is. He just has this charisma and this kind of fun side to the character he's playing that really comes through here as, as Jamie Reyes. Yeah. You know, George, I like George Lopez. I thought the like the, the father-son dynamic that you get teased here, I think is very effective. Um, it isn't sort of classic funny man Lopez. It seems yeah. more like a mix of like, he's got a hum sense of humor, but he's really doing a more restrained, serious father figure. Yeah. Um, we don't see enough of Susan Sarandon for me to draw any conclusions. She really makes one line uh, appearance. She's never bad, but I'm still curious to see how she fits into all this. You know, and then there's the suit, which I think, you know, I don't think it looks bad. I mean, it, like the physics of it to me look fine when he's flying up into space and then coming back down. Like, I'm still curious to see how it interacts with all the environments because yeah. they show it like with a bus and they show it with like, there's a lot with we're kind of getting these teases of. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think it looked bad. I think this trailer conveyed what I wanted it to, yes. which is. It's got a, it's got a little, it's got a lane to itself. This yes. isn't quite like what you're used to seeing. This isn't a Spider-Man ripoff. Like, there's something here worth checking out. So I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. I don't yeah. know about you, but I'm pretty happy. I am as well, Brian. I have to say, uh, what I saw, or what I expect to see, is a pretty fun film, a unique film, it's similar to how we sort of, I think. Brian, I enjoyed very much the family of uh, the Marvels, not the Marvels, uh, Miss Marvel, her family in yep. that that show. And so with that, we're getting another family, um, a Latin family. So we're going to see funny things that we probably aren't used to seeing. And I think that's going to uh, uh, have a, an advantage. Um, Susan Sarandon, I think her role will have to do with her knowing about the scarab, but having some history with it because of her name. Well, from what I've heard, other people say that her name in this film, her last name, there's some history with the blue beetle or, or the scarab that they find. So she's just looking to get it back. So let's yeah. see what this will be. But Brian, I'm still excited for this film. I haven't seen anything um that makes me say I, I haven't been hit i haven't been feeling that goofiness just yet it is no it, I think you know what i'm saying yeah yeah because i thought like th that's the thing is like this looks more fun than goofy thought, yeah the other thing i thought actually was kind of smart here is they're not gonna bother as much with the whole um hidden secret identity thing right his clearly his friends and his family know that it's him yeah because yeah. he's they they're with him when he basically changes changes so i i actually think that's a good differentiation from say like a peter parker and yes. a spider-man where that 
that duality and that secret of life is such a huge part of those storylines. In some ways, I think it's good to kind of have one where you're you're out there a little bit. Yeah. But you're right. What we didn't see, which I was dreading, was I was dreading we were going to see some like massive CGI beetle on other bug fight, and I was like, oh my god, this is the wrong forum for that. Yeah. yeah. And we didn't see that. Yeah. So I'm I'm very happy with uh if we get one where it's kind of like him just feeling his way and figuring out how to use this and learning lessons from that, like. Great. That's a great starting point for this particular character. Keep it a little smaller. Uh, don't go for too much in, in, in the first one. Uh, and yeah, I think I also think there's a like on the calendar. I think there's going to be an opportunity here near the end of the summer to kind of stake out some territory uh, because I feel like what comes after in the superhero genre is not going to be that great. So I think there's an opportunity for Blue Beetle to kind of grab maybe that point in the calendar that leads into labor day and back to school and you know kids are going to want to hopefully go see this yeah. and that's sort what of thing. so i'm optimistic yeah uh so that was blue beetle very hopeful for that film looking forward to seeing it the other film on our list that we've been dreading to see um this trailer came out last week the marvels oh god no was it what you expected in terms of awfulness that's what i feared I think it's one of the worst trailers Marvel's Marvel has ever issued to intro a film. And I see little or no reason for global audiences to get excited. And I think this movie has bomb and loss written all over it. Like, so what are the specifics that <laughs> lead me to that conclusion? First off, Brie Larson got benched in this trailer. Yeah. Like, name one thing cool that she did in this trailer. Name one. Nothing. She's not even really in the trailer. She 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 has a couple of like switch places crash into the room. She has one or two lines. She does nothing Captain Marvelish. You don't yeah. even see her like yeah. zooming through space ever. Like you spend all the time watching Kamala Khan and Monica Rambo and then what looks to be like a Ronan the Accuser ripoff. Yes. I'm like, I... And we see that the musical number is going to happen because yeah. it's in the trailer. You see the choreography of that dance number. They're clearly going... They are going for Goofy in this. Thing. Goofy, check. They're not trying to run it, which, I mean, maybe there's something to that, but gosh, this... This looks like a train wreck that's coming. And Brian, what do you think... Bob Iger's thinking when he sees do you think Bob Iger knows this is going to bomb because Kevin Feige's been binging this movie up he's been binging this movie up well, he, he compared seeing the Marvels on screen together to the first time they saw Avengers on screen together in 2012 what That kind of talk makes me think we need we need Kevin to go be the pre go be the president or chairman of Disney and let someone else run things. Yeah, yeah, I think it's about because that's crazy talk. That's yeah, crazy yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. There's no way you can make that comparison, and because he said it, he's gonna be looking crazy out here. And Bob Iger's gonna be looking at him like, you know, what's going on? Kevin feeling the Kevin's definitely based. You, you know, we had this conversation about Kevin. He's feeling the pressure, Brian. There's no doubt about it. He's feeling the pressure. He needs to make changes. Uh, but this Marvel's film, uh, I don't even want to see Blue Marvel in this film, Brian. I don't want to see it. No, I agree. I think it would be like you're dragging characters down now if you're going to intro them in this. Yeah. So let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, the Marvel's trailer. And what is the point? What is the point of this film? That's I, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, like, what is the point of this film? Like, other than like we're going to shoehorn two characters from Disney Plus shows into this team up, but where does that go? Like, this is a character that we were struggling to define after the combination of her own debut film and Endgame. Mm -hmm. And I watched this trailer and I'm like, this really feels almost. I don't want to say it feels like a throwaway, but I feel like. At the end of this film, are we really going to want to see more Brie Larson as Captain Marvel? 
I mean, she's already pretty unpopular, quite honestly. We know that mm. with, with the Marvel fan base, which is part of the reason this trailer has gotten sort of, I don't know what to call it, dislike bombed on, <laughs> on YouTube. But, I mean, this is a huge budget movie that went through extensive reshoots. Like, this thing, like, we just saw, like, Quantumania is not even going to make $500 million no. total box. Like, I see this trailer and I'm like, I take the under. 300 this movie worth 350 no more than 350 like shazam that could be like a shazam level disaster for marvel mm, yeah let's see how much connection to the multiverse which i believe obviously it will have what movie it will connect to to have caused some of the events that are occurring in that film brian and uh let's see maybe there's some hope for it but I don't think so. This is just gonna. This one is gonna be bad. Let's see, Brian. Let's see what the critics have to say. If the critics destroy it, it is gonna oh. be. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna be a wrap for that whole, all those strands and threads. Like we ain't gonna see Captain. I mean, and again, the problem is like, let's say that is the case. We're probably gonna need and supposed to want the Marvels to be part of Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. But now you're gonna have three more heroes where people are like, meh. Yeah. That 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 just doesn't that doesn't work. That's uh, leading to my Avengers being south of a billion dollar. No, outcome. no, no, no. That's definitely a possibility. That's definitely a possibility. Um, let us know in the comment section below again what you guys think of the Marvels. Um, and what what where do you think is gonna uh, hit in terms of the box office numbers? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. The next trailer, Brian, um, was very well received, Brian. The Secret Invasion uh, trailer for the show, which is coming out when? Uh, June. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the trailer looked very serious, Brian. There weren't any, you know, pull my fingers or anything like that. There wasn't anything crazy. Um, it was a very serious film as it should be brian brian my expectation of this uh show is near top shelf and or mandalorian type situation your thoughts i agree i mean i think they're really going for you know, almost like a winter soldier's tone, I think, in the trailers. There's very little VFX evident other than a little bit of scrawl shape shifting. Yeah. Um, it's it definitely has been serious. It definitely has focused you on the cast, which is all star. I mean, you have, as you said, Sam Jackson, you know, I mean, sure you've got Kobe Smolders, but and you're bringing back um Ben Mendelssohn and you know, now you're adding in Olivia Coleman and Amelia Clark and Mm -hmm. uh, Don Cheadle is back in this, so I mean, the, the trailer really focuses you on the on the talent they have, you know, in front of the camera, which is which is great. I think if we get a gritty, kind of spy espionage, Nick Fury behind the scenes trying to thwart the scheme that we think Secret Invasion is nodding toward, that that could be great. I oh, mean, yeah. I think despite all of the concerns we have about Marvel, this has been one of the two or three things on the calendar where I've kind of just held out hope and said, this can't be bad. Yeah. And I still feel that way. I think, the, I think the trailer looks good and I'm excited. I'm excited to see Nick Fury back in the center. I feel like he's been on the periphery or been on the sidelines for a long time. I'm ready to see Sam Jackson cook as Nick Fury. Again. Yeah. 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 Me too. Me too. It's, it's long overdue. Um, I'm glad that we're seeing him in this first rather than the Marvels. Cause I don't know. I mean, he's going to be Nick Fury regardless but I'm glad we're seeing him in a more serious tone and a more serious situation. And I'm hoping to see some really good Easter eggs, Brian. I'm really hoping to see some major surprises uh, as to who has been a scroll all this time. Because at the end of the day, Brian, that's what this show is all about. You can't say it any other way. Everybody's going to be watching to see who has been infiltrated uh, and who has been compromised pretty much and 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 that's going to be a, the, the 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 thing that gets people to watch if we get a revelation every week i don't know but it's it has a lot of potential brian it's this has to be good um and it, 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 if not if 
How many episodes is this? Going to be six? Yeah, this is six. All them jokes. Is six. All them jokes got to be dope. All them jokes got to be dope. And I'm getting tired of these six episode situations. I, I will say I'm not I'm not overly concerned this is going to be bad though. I feel like we're back into like with this show and Loki season 2, we're back into some better hands here. I don't have a lot of confidence. I hear you. I mean, Loki, Brian, the director, the first, the person that was directing the first season of Loki, she bounced. This True. is in a set of new yeah. hands. Yeah. So I I'm, I, my thing is we're sort of going to get the performances from Loki, Jonathan Majors, and all that other stuff. So there's no worry there. But you may see the difference. You may feel the difference. Who knows? Let's see. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, the Secret Invasion trailer and what do you think of all these trailers? Blue Beetle, the Marvel, the Secret Invasion. Uh, what are your expectations? Are you excited for these? Let us know in the comment section below. We'll see you next time on the Nerd Gen Report. You blew it! You blew it!